I'm going to be showing you how to get stud multipliers or really any extra in LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. So to get extras in this game you need data cards to purchase them and to get those you have to be in galaxy free play mode and you have to be going to a planet that actually has a data card to find. So in this example we're going to be going to Tatooine because this is a really good one that you can unlock early on. So more specifically we're going to be going to Mos Espa. You can see there it shows that there is one data card that is not collected yet. So we're going to be going there and we're going to get that one. And Mos Espa is a really good example because it doesn't require any special ability to actually get. Uh, so once we land here we're going to look on our map and go over here to the top left and there you can see the data card icon there on the map so we're going to hold the X button on Xbox or Square on PlayStation to set a marker there and then we're just going to follow the blue marker all the way over to the data card and again this one's a really good example because you don't need any special ability it's literally just out in the open and we can just walk up to it and collect it. Alright, so we have reached our destination. Here we can see the data card just in this house here. So we're going to go ahead and collect that one. And there are 19 to find throughout the game. And now that we have this, we can actually start buying a stud multiplier. So we're going to pull up the menu here, scroll all the way over to the right to the question mark icon. You can see here under the data card menu here are all the extras we can buy. And you're going to want to focus on stud multipliers first because all the studs that you're going to get from these multipliers can then be used to buy everything else in the game. You know, characters, more extras, everything like that. So we're going to go ahead and buy times four because we can afford it because it is two million studs plus you need one data card. So we're going to go ahead and buy that. And then we'll pretty much have times four studs unlocked. It is activated now. Now for whatever reason, if you want to disable the stud multiplier or any extra, you can do that from this menu as well. But now that we have that on, you can see here, as we start collecting studs, we're now going to be getting times four studs on everything. You can see there the little times four, and these do stack. So if you get times two as well, you can activate both of those and have times eight. And this goes all the way up to times 3,840 studs. And once you have that, you're going to be rolling in millions of studs and you'll be able to afford anything in the game. So yeah, this was just a very quick tutorial on how to get stud multipliers in LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. I definitely recommend saving up for these first because they're going to help you be able to afford everything else in the game. So if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it dislike it if not subscribe for more content like this and i'll see you guys next time here on quick break games